Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you all so much for your love on the first two episodes and I apologize for how late this one has taken to get up but hopefully I can make it up to you by posting this and episode four at the same time. Things have been crazy on my end but we're getting back into it. So uh, dear Elle, have you settled into your new life yet? I can't believe you're all grown up now. Time sure flies. Now that you're gone I have all this extra money laying around so I've included a little gift. Love dad. Well that was nice. <laughs> Alrighty, off to do the typical things. We gotta get stuff ready for actually we're on day 17 of spring, so we'll be hitting summer in this episode, I believe. Um so you know, take care of the farm, harvest the things, water the things, all of that super fun stuff. Um, as per usual, as we head into town, we're gonna check for any forageables along the way. It's also uh, salmon berry season, so gonna be picking up a lot of those throughout the game. Also, um, I have figured out the issue of like the little like purple and like white lines you're seeing, so I will be able to take care of that soon. Um, so we're picking up a quest for Shane uh, for Topaz, and this is where I realized that Pierre's closed on Wednesdays and I question everything because I should know that Pierre is closed on Wednesdays but I'm usually so quick to finish the community center that I often forget that he is closed on Wednesdays until that's uh, finished so super fun anyways we gotta raid the bins but yeah um I'm pretty sure I forget to actually fulfill that quest and bring a topaz to Sebastian but All right, we're heading back to the farm. Um, we spent a good chunk of the day foraging, as you can see, got a lot of things that we picked up. Um, we even made some more uh, wild seeds. So yeah, gonna give some love to little uh, Jekyll there. I almost said Salem, which is a different cat from a different safe. <laughs> um, here I'm just figuring out if I'm gonna sell anything to make some money as, as we are low. Go ahead, get rid of those surplus parsnips and a couple other things and just really prepping for tomorrow. Um, before we do that though, we're gonna head to uh, the lower cinder stop forest, get some hay to fill up that silo. Um, ooh, and we found an ancient sword, which is super cool. Um, I don't remember if I've ever been down this far in my other saves or not but we're gonna get down pretty far here and we'll find some other really cool stuff so that's fun but yeah my main goal for coming to this part of the cinder snap forest was literally just to uh get some more hay for the silo <laughs> but as you see we find three more ancient swords uh, a couple forageables a forest sword which is great because now I don't have to continue to use my really sucky sword in the mines. So very nice there. That sword's about to become my best friend, I'll tell you guys that. But yeah, we're just kind of looking through the area, looking for any more forgeables we can grab before we head on back home. Also, guys, um, because the next episode has already been pre-recorded before I even put this one up, um, I'll probably ask it here and I'll ask it on that one too, but uh, I am still trying to gauge interest for whether I should just continue doing this with a voiceover or if you guys want to see real reactions as I play, because I'm totally up to doing both or either. Um, just I just want to see what you guys want to see kind of thing. Um, also, I will say I'm prepping some other non-gaming content, more cosplay stuff will be coming soon, which I'm super excited about. Um, so uh, be on the lookout for that. But yeah, things have been really busy on my side, but I have a lot of cool stuff coming up. So I hope you guys are looking forward to it. But anyways, we're back on the farm. We're going to organize our finds, all of our fun stuff, and pretty much just head for bed. But we made a bit of change, if I do say so myself. Um, another uh, 1K, which is great. 
Um, I wanted to remind you that today is Pam's birthday. That lady spends way too much time in the saloon, don't you think, Lewis? See, this is what I'm talking about with Lewis being so ah in some of his birthday letters. Like, you literally live with these people, and like, they're the reason you're mayor, so, huh? Anyways, wild times, but yeah. But we're gonna make another chest here and start really getting organized. It's really easy to get disorganized in Stardew. It's really, really easy. And even throughout this, with all the organization I do, I'll still get completely disorganized. But as you see here, I'm just trying to make things a little easier to put together. So I've got like my sporgels, forgeables. I <laughs> English is hard. I've got my forgeables and like my spring products in one. I've got like uh mining and gemstones and stuff in another so stuff like that um as always new day more forgeables to find and those are real money makers especially early game because i'm telling you i'm pretty sure i've already said this in one of the other episodes but wild seeds give you so much money early game it's phenomenal it's really really great but we're pretty much just gonna wander around raid the bins pick some salmon berries while we wait for uh, Piers to open, give some, give Dusty some pets because he's a good boy and he deserves it. Uh, talk to Morris, even though we really don't want to. I've been reading up on different strategies for, he literally says the same thing all the time. Uh, Jojo's pretty firm about things being consistent between locations. Literally just same stuff he's always said. Oh, well, I guess he doesn't like salmon berries. Don't know what this man likes, but it's fine. Oh, we got a cutscene though, Piers. Welcome to you, Piers. How can I help you? Oh, and here comes Morris. Ruining everybody's morning. Ahem. Come and get it, folks. Coupons for 50% off your purchase at Joja Mart. Uh, of course. That's so skanky. Like, to come into someone else's business and, like, advertise your own. Well, any takers? That's like when people come into your like Twitch chat and are like, oh, I'm going live like right now, like come watch me. Like that is the same energy, but I can't match those prices. I'd be selling at a loss. You sure would, Pierre. You know, this is a pure hate account, but like he has a point here. It must be so difficult for you to lose your loyal customers like that. But can you blame them? Joja Corporation is clearly the superior choice. Is it though? Is it really? Soon the whole town will realize that. He's so sassy. Honestly, if he wasn't a bad guy, I'd love his sass. But regardless, we're gonna get some seeds from Pierre, make him feel a little bit better about his day by taking our hard earned money and then head back to the farm right away and start planning those bad boys after we organize. I promise the organization gets better. It's 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 rough for these first couple minutes here in this episode. But we're going to take some fertilizer to hopefully get these uh these last few golden uh gold star parsnips so we can use them for the quality bundles uh quality whoop, the, 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 the quality crops bundle. I feel like it's more fun also when I keep my my mess ups in the voiceover so <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed that. <laughs> Anywho, like I said, we're just going to go right into planting that and putting that uh, fertilizer down for the, hopefully getting those last few parses we need for the quality crops bundle. And I will say I'm a perfectionist, so when I make my little plots, I hate if there's like if it's not perfect if it's not like completely squared off so you'll see me right now go back and be like nope <laughs> goodbye goodbye <laughs> and like i know early game it doesn't really matter i just i can't i can't do it i can't do it
like I said, just mm, those extra spots, no go, not happening. Not here, not today. just it gives me so much joy when they're just it's it's like such a nice like clean ugh. I would have such a hard time being like an actual farmer because like not everything's gonna look super clean like this you know couldn't do it couldn't do it can't even lie Uh, this is where I realized I didn't have enough seeds for two whole plots, so I ran right back to Piers to get some more parsnip seeds to fill up that one plot. I also, I'm pretty sure I got some other stuff. Um, so yeah, I got some potato seeds and a couple other things that we needed and just stuff I wanted. Um, I'm buying these tulip seeds uh, because I will actually end up, I think I get some jazz seeds here too, yep. Um, and I end up making a uh, bee house, but you guys will see that shortly. Here I am debating, got some kale. Kale is really great early game because um, it gives you so much energy and they're relatively cheap for seeds for early game. Um, so it's not completely impossible to get your hands on them. So major tip right there. It gives, it, they just give you so much energy. It's amazing. Now I'm like 98% sure this is where I'm collecting stuff for the bee house. I could have just gotten completely sidetracked though, or I might be getting more wood for a, another chest. I honestly could not tell you though. <laughs> so we're gonna find out together. Oh, also, another thing I really want to ask you guys, who are we going to romance in this? Like, I genuinely, I don't know who we're going to romance. Not going to lie, guys. We got to figure that out soon. Oh, I'm pretty sure this is where I overexert myself and pass out. Yep. Here it comes. Three, two, there it is. <laughs> are we surprised? No. Should we be? Probably. Um, <laughs> but anyway, right on to the next day where I finish up my planting. <laughs> uh, more fertilizer, more planting. But I finished this patch up with those kale seeds. Um, and I decided to make two new little patches for the flowers. Actually, I don't think I do the bee house just yet. That comes soon, but not yet. And this is me fixing my spacing because it will drive me nuts otherwise. I've gotten one of my best friends into this game and he's the same way I am where everything has to be neat and organized otherwise it just drives him absolutely freaking bonkers so I totally get it like it's just it's just so satisfying you know anyways we're gonna fix up where our torches are so we have some semi-adequate lighting I can't wait until we can start building like lampposts and stuff it'll be so nice Anyways, we make some more fertilizer so that everything is fertilized and hopefully we'll end up with some really good quality stuff. Uh, 
Oh, you're lucky I found you last night. You were unconscious and someone was searching your pockets. I have no idea how much money they took, but they ran away as soon as I approached. Be more careful, Linus. Farmer L, I have a request for you. I need a fresh cauliflower for a recipe I want to make. Could you bring me one? Jody. And we sure do, right now. This is why I usually recommend in early game, if you have enough money to get like one of each crop, do it because you'll get requests from townspeople about certain things like this quest right here for Jody to get that cauliflower. So yeah, I always make sure to like grow one of each. Hey, no judgment, Sebastian. Don't look at me like that. But anyways, we're going to stop by Marnie's and get some chickens. And by chickens, I mean one, because we don't have enough money for any more than that. <laughs> um, but we got our little chickadee here for our coop, our first one. And I think we name him after an herb. Or is it a crystal? No, it's an herb. So this, one, this little guy gets named Lavender. Um, cause we're going sort of like a witchy sort of playthrough, but we're gonna go give her some lovin' and fill up her feeding trough just to make it easier, cause then I won't forget to feed her. Whoop. That's like one of the things I forget the most. I feel like that's with everyone though. Um, you just forget to feed your animals first, like early game, because there's no auto feeders in like the barns or coops yet until you upgrade so I feel like if you don't like just put out as much food as possible in case you forget <laughs> then you're not playing Stardew Valley right <laughs> which is also obviously totally false to play however you want but you know just jokes and all that jazz but we're gonna clear the farm a little bit since it's a rainy day and there's not much else we can do and then we're gonna head up to the mines Oh, Camilla, uh, Cordelia. Camilla, our witch, sent me here to seek an audience with Marlin. You know he's a legend. Interesting. All right, so we finally unlocked information for the monster eradication goals. Um, so we'll be working on those. That'll probably end up being goals later on. Um, if you spot any monsters outside the mine cave, alert me immediately. Yeah, this is where I realized, for whatever reason, my portrait mod isn't translating right. I don't know why it's not i think i have since fixed this issue but i've also been seeing it pop up again so maybe not completely fixed i i don't know i will have to look into that further because if i remember from last time i was playing on twitch i think we were still having issues with that so and it's usually it's like just marlin and um gunther those are the two that for whatever reason and like i know there's like specific patches for their portraits alone with the specific mod i'm using but even then so hopefully i can figure that out maybe i'm just doing something wrong which is more likely than not um but anyways so leaving making another like a little lit bit of a pathway so i can see my way around the farm a little bit better here um but things are starting to come together i'm really excited um farm is doing what he needs to do and we're getting there slowly but surely Alrighty, day 20 of year one gotta do them chores like always harvest the things water the things you know all that fun stuff guys it has to be done which i've as you can see, found a slightly more effective way of watering. Um, L, I wanted to remind you that today is Shane's birthday. If I had to guess, I'd say he moved in right after college, but I know better than that. Lewis, you can't be talking about people like that. That's so rude. Anyways, gonna give the animals some love and then continue clearing up the farm a bit, chopping some more trees because we need so much wood for all the things we're planning to accomplish. Um, so yeah super fun there we're then gonna head over to the beach and collect some of the shells and other forgeables that you can find here oh and we're gonna do one of our first goals first successful goals i'm pretty sure of completing the uh wow why am i 
why is english hard we're gonna fix the bridge beach that's why we're chopping more wood the bridge beach the beach bridge <laughs> y'all met what i know um so we ended up doing that here but you'll see right now um i also realized throughout playing this which one we lost the icon which is super sad so that's one of our <laughs> year goals that we cannot do anymore and also there's no way to collect all the rare crowns <laughs> in year one unless we complete bits and pieces of the community center um so i was like oop that's cool um i also couldn't get the first scarecrow from the flower dance so it's fine anyways we run into <laughs> willie and elliot here and also lewis and harvey or just harvey not lewis anyways <laughs> my brain just stopped but we're completing uh, a bundle here the crab pot bundle which gives us a couple crab pots which are going to be great um this one's super easy to finish if you unlock the other side of the beach and all that. We're then going to stop by Star Drop Saloon, say hello to everyone. Shane's still Shane. Is it my turn now? And she just says the same thing. Alex is focused on the arcade game. Say hello to Leah over here in the corner. I love to decorate for the different seasons. Same girl. Same. Uh, Pam isn't responding. Great. I like making my own clothes, but it's not easy to get cloth. We can fix that for you. Good evening. Can I get you anything? I love this portrait for Gus. Like, I get, like, I get just warm, cozy, like, feelings. I don't know where I was going with that. Like, he just gives, like, soft dad vibes. And I honestly, I love that for him. You know what it reminds me of? Oh my god. Um, the dad dating simulator, si si simulator, simulator or whatever it's called. He gives me vibes of that. And honestly, I love it. Anyways, we're checking in with Queen of Sauce since it is another Sunday. And we're learning to make a radish salad. There's nothing like a fresh peppery radish. It reminds me of the late spring. My mother would slice up our fresh radish radishes and serve them on grainy bread with a little salt and pepper. Ah, those were the days, but I digress. Now watch closely. Also, has anyone ever seen, I think, I don't know if it's a YouTube channel and a TikToker or, is if, it's, or if it's just like a TikToker, but like she makes or she tries to recreate uh, Queen of Sauce recipes and I think that's super cool. I wish I had the creativity for that, but I struggle sometimes just following recipes correctly. So, you know, it'd be like that. <laughs> um, but another day, some more chores to get done. I'm gonna check on our little chickadee here, Lavender. She's doing great. Give Jekyll some pets. And then also just clear up the farm a little bit. Oh, we got a cutscene here with Leah. L, hello. It's a lovely day today. I dropped by to check on my green beans and they're ready to harvest. Gus and Pierre were here a little while ago taking care of their crops too. Pelican Town's community garden is pretty nifty, wouldn't you agree, Elle? The, com uh, the community garden is a neat idea. Yes, it's spectacular. I'm very thankful for this community garden. I don't have much property to grow my own food. Fair enough, makes sense. But thanks to this little plot of land we all share, I can. I love Leah, she's just so sweet. Sweet little bean. Whew, that's all of them. Now I need to decide what to cook with these tonight. Here's a fresh green bean straight from the vine. Leah's just this, so sweet. I love her. I've never romanced Leah. Maybe we should. We'll see what happens. Oh, I'm right into another cute little cutscene here with Dusty. I love Dusty. I think that's one of my favorite things about the expanded mod. You actually get a dog in the doghouse. 
Like, it's just... I wish it was part of, like, base game, but it's not. So, if I could download a mod just for Dusty, I totally would. Um, for petting Dusty, obviously. If you don't pet Dusty, I'm sorry, but hard and serious judgment, alright? Look at him! He's just so cute. I love that talk. Um, but we're gonna finish off the day doing some fishing down at the pier. Um, as you can see, we end up getting quite a lot of fish here. We're gonna end up selling a good chunk of these, which is gonna give us at least a little bit of more money to work with. Um, but yeah, fun things all around. We also got some seaweed, which is gonna be great because we're gonna need that to start building fish ponds later on down the road. Um, so yeah. I'm a big believer in just like making by farm like fully useful. Um, and what I mean by that, here we're just checking what fish we have or what fish we need to get still. Um, but I love just having like everything. Um, on, what, on my save on Twitch, like I have an area for all my animals, I have an area for fishing, I have my crops, I have my greenhouse, I have everything. And it just it brings me so much joy because you get to get use all the things if that makes sense um but we're gonna do some choice we got the note from the hat mouse who lives down near andy right by cinder snap forest um about his hats that he sells and we got our first egg from lavender so that's very exciting oh and we have something from marnie hi El. now that you own farm animals i thought i'd let you in on a little secret They won't wander out of the fenced areas of your farm, so you're free to leave them open. Well, I have a mod that automatically opens them, uh, the gates for me, so I don't have to worry about that anyways. Um, but we're gonna spend a bit of time here gathering some more resources and clearing up the farm a bit. And then we're gonna make some more chests and continue just reorganizing everything. Now, typically, I usually assign a color to each chest, but here I'm really just going with the rainbow. <laughs> so, fun times, really. Um, and then we do a bunch more chest organization, and everything's going to look so pretty after this, I promise. It's so great. I make, like, a chest for all the fish and everything, and I make a chest for animal products, which will become way more abundant later on. Uh, this is where I decide to change what I'm going to put where. <laughs> But yeah, it just makes things so much easier, at least for my brain. I love organizing stuff. It's just, it's so nice. It's so great. Like, I, I can be very messy, don't get me wrong. But when everything is organized and has its space where it needs, to, where it can be and has to go, it's just mm, amazing. I love it. Finally glad we have that bait recipe now because I thought we had it earlier and we totally did not. Ha ha ha. So that was fun realizing when I went to try and go make that bug meat into bait earlier to fill the crab pots. But it's fine. Live and learn, you know, live and learn. But we're then gonna go down to the mines and keep uh, heading down and heading through. Uh, our first goal for the mines is to get down to level 40. Um, so yeah, we spend a lot of time here in the mines, uh, these next couple episodes, just because I really want to get further and further down. Also, I'm pretty sure if I remember. Yeah, uh, bottom of the mines is not. Yep, it is. Okay. Yeah, getting to the bottom of the mines is one of our goals. Um, so that's also importante to really grind these mines and it helps because you know you need stone anyways for a lot of projects and all and it's just there's not much to do early game there really isn't oh my gosh i was talking to someone on my twitch stream recently and she or they i should say they absolutely love fishing early game and i'm like girl could not be me like, mm -mm, no thank you. <laughs> but anyways, 
we keep on moving down and we end up on level 20 which is pretty great and we get a small uh our steel small sword which is not much in comparison to our forest sword uh considering it's just it's just a higher level so yeah but we go on and head out for the evening drop some stuff off or actually we talked to marlin here which you see his portrait is working fine now which very confusing i know um but we're gonna drop some stuff off trade some stuff out and then head back to the farm And here we are back to organizing everything so it all looks neat and nice it's so it's so great having this sort of organization it makes me so happy you guys don't even understand um here i am making some more wild seeds because we need that money and now i realize that i got two sets of leeks and i don't need two sets of leek i need dandelion <laughs> And we're also going to make some more bait out of the bug meat we got today. So great times all around. Just seeing if I can... Oh, yeah. We're going to make some more copper bars so we can start upgrading tools soon. Put some more stuff away. And then we're going to sell those wild seeds and pretty much just head for bed. Um, I've got some new items in stock, a deluxe fishing pole and some bait that you can attach to it. You can use bait to make fish bite faster. Hope to see you soon, Willie. So we are now on Tuesday, day 23. Uh, dear L, tomorrow we're all gathering together at the flower dance. If you can find a partner, you might want to participate in the dance yourself. There's a little clearing beyond the forest west of town where we hold the dance. So right between 9 a.m. and 2 p.m. if you're interested, Mary Lewis. Oh, I already spoiled it, but <laughs> yeah. We'll see. Um, I don't get the uh, first scarecrow we need, and then I really have to sit and think about it. And I went, we can't really accomplish all of the scarecrows in the first year. But anywho, um, so yeah, check all the animals. We do the chores. We get another egg from Little Miss Lavender and her fluffy bottom there. Um, this is also a mod where your pets can follow you around. I end up uninstalling this because it's kind of buggy and it just, it doesn't look right. So this is probably the last episode. It's either this episode or an episode four. Where this is like the last time you'll see me ever use this. It's just, it's a cute idea, but it's just, it's buggy. But anyways, I uh, got to Piers early again. Uh, so we spend some time reading the bins and trying to get something good out of them because it's a good luck day so supposedly they should be filled with good items but as you see we've gotten bubkiss um give dusty some pets as he deserves get jekyll to leave alex alone because she got stuck on him and finally oh if we say hi to martin Give him a daffodil. And now we can finally go inside. Alrighty. Sell all of our parsnips immediately to Pierre because we did not sell them yesterday. Um, and we're getting some more seeds because we still don't have the 20 gold parsnip. Or not the 20 gold. Oh my gosh. Could you imagine? That would be horrible. The five gold parsnips that we need. Um, and here you see me go overboard with buying some more, but it's totally fine. Say hello to Maru. And head back to the farm to start planting stuff. Yeah, it's a really cute mod, but it's just, mm, it could be better. And like, I, I'm not saying that as in a place of judgment, I could not make a mod. I, no skill level there, but 
I just, it, it, there, there's so much potential, you know? You know what I mean? It's just not there. I wish it was, because it's really cute, but, you know. But anyways, we're gonna donate some of the stuff that we have. Um, I always say donate with caution, especially when it comes to gems and stuff, because you may end up needing something Esp like okay prismatic shards and dino eggs if you haven't heard this already from another stardew player do not ever donate your first prismatic shard or your first dino egg i promise you you will regret it it's soul sucking do not do it hold on to them because it's so much harder to get another one when you need it and with like the dino eggs if you just upgrade your coop all the way you can just hatch those and then they'll produce more dino eggs so they're super easy to get more of so it makes no sense to waste them on the uh, not the communities there the museum first off but anyways back to the farm and some more clearing and all that fun stuff and i'm realizing now the flower dances are saying i'm so so apologies uh guess you'll just have to watch that to find out what happens at the flower dance even though i kind of already told you it's fine <laughs> but yeah so really just taking some more time here to clear up the farm i have some ideas for like a layout that i'm gonna do but i honestly i don't know we'll have to see what happens um because i've never played with this farm layout before so yeah i typically play with the remastered version um that's the one i play on twitch so it's really weird but do a couple more things here get another bar we'll be able to upgrade some tools here shortly which will be great because that's another one of our goals um is to get everything to gold so hopefully soon but yeah as we close out here that's pretty much all i have going on uh for this episode i super appreciate you guys watching again and all your support on this series i hope you are enjoying it please let me know if you want me to continue to just do voiceovers if you or if you'd actually like to see my face and reactions real time and i will see you in the next video just shortly here um so yeah bye guys